Skanska when, when Dr. Shannon mentioned Skanska. <clears throat> it's Skanska led, it's a Skanska project, but there's a lot of individuals that have partnered with us and teamed with us on this project in order to make that happen. I couldn't begin to go down the list of the subcontractors uh, due to the sake of time and, and, and you guys that are, that are here with us and have partnered with us, please understand that we do recognize you uh, in that process. I do want to point out a couple of uh, uh, names that um, I think it's important that we that we recognize. First of all, the healthcare system folks uh, that are involved uh, with the uh, patient care every single day, they have to deal with us. They have to deal with a project of this magnitude going on right beside them. We strive very hard to make sure that they don't have to do it much, but they have to be they have to be uh, forgiving at times. And uh, I, I want to thank them. I want to thank them for the understanding that they have of making a project like, without that understanding, we couldn't make a project like this take place. I also want to thank the folks with uh, FPNC, uh, the uh, facilities uh, planning. Uh, th th those folks are truly partners as well. Um, can't seem to get this mic far enough away. Um, and so I, I, I really want to uh, take a moment to thank them. And then our partners in the uh, overall design of this uh, project, uh, Perkins and Will leading with Walter P. Moore, with uh, BR Plus A. Uh, there, there are so many along with this uh, a project that, that have <laughs> partnered with us, truly partnered with us uh, to make this a great success. And as Dr. Shannon mentioned, we have a long way to go. We're not done yet. Uh, this, is, this is an opportunity for us to, to step back and look at the strong progress that's been done and to celebrate the work that's gone into place at this point. But I, I, I look forward to the future, the very near future, but the future when we're ready to open the doors of this building, this building that, yes, we're putting sweat and tears into right now, but it will give life-giving care for many, many years to come. I've built a lot of things in my career. But building hospitals has a legacy that leaves behind it like no other thing. And this is, this is just an amazing opportunity for everyone here. Here in just a moment, we are going to uh, lift the beams, uh, the uh, topping out beams that everyone has, uh, has signed. I do want to take a very special opportunity. The steel and uh, the iron that uh, is the main structure of this building, um, Walter P. Moore uh, as the engineers of uh, the design of that. Um, steel Fab Corporation is our uh, fabricating uh, partners with, uh, with the steel and CSE Erectors. Uh, I, I gotta tell you, those three names in all my career have never worked with a more outstanding group of folks. Uh, they've done an amazing job. Words cannot describe how well they've done. And so some folks from CSC are going to be stepping out and helping us with uh, the rigging of the beam out here. Uh, I will invite you, if you would like to uh, watch it from outside, you'll notice that we have some caution tape put up on either side. I'm going to ask you to step through these openings and be behind that caution tape on the left and the right of the beams if you want to observe from there. Uh, those of you that want to take some photos, uh, you probably won't want to uh, be here front and center at this, this location here. But for the masses of you, if you'd like to step uh, out above there, uh, workers that have PP&E, you're welcome to step up to the third floor up above us. I would ask you to stay clear, obviously, just like we do every day of the steel when it flies over. Uh, pay attention to the whistles that are blowing. Uh, but if you guys want to, at this time, go ahead and step out there and uh, take your places around to the outside. We have a 